You ever create a sketch where you spend all this time putting it together and now you're finally ready to come in and add some dimensions and constraints and then you add that first dimension and then the whole thing just breaks on you. Well, if that's ever happened to you, you're in the right place because I've got the perfect quick tip for you today that's going to help prevent that from happening. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Vladimir and I run an online education company called Desktop Mix where I teach how to design for 3D printing, specifically using Fusion 360. And if you're new to Fusion 360, make sure to check out my Quick Start mini series. It'll get you up and running in Fusion 360 quickly and painlessly. It's a structured approach to learning the basics so that you can then go on to creating your own designs. I've got a link to that mini series down below. All right, now to today's quick tip. Okay, so here I am in Fusion 360 and I'm gonna quickly create a sketch. Now, the way I tend to create my sketches is I'll first just, you know, roughly lay it out and then come in with dimensions and constraints. So for example, let's say I'm gonna create a house, right? I'll start with a, a basic shape here, maybe a box, maybe do a roof here, uh, you know, make the door and some windows. Right, and then I'll come in and answer all my dimensions and constraints. So let's say I start with a dimension here. I want to dimension this wall. And I just go ahead and type it in and say, you know, it's going to be a little miniature house, for example. And I want this to be 10 millimeters, so I'll type that in, hit enter, and my whole thing just breaks, right? It looks like a tent now. And it becomes a real pain now trying to dimension the rest of it because, you know, the roof is mainly the entire house now, and it's, it, it just doesn't work. So... Okay, let me show you how to fix this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our settings. So I'm gonna click here on the little icon with my name on there and go down to preference. And when you get into your preferences dialog box here, you wanna go to design and then you're gonna check this option here where it says scale entire sketch at first dimension. We'll click on that, click apply and okay. And now let's see what happens if we create that same design with only changing that preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that same house here. I'll create my box and then my roof and then a door and a couple windows. All right, so now when I come in with that dimension, so D for dimension and I'll dimension this wall here. Let's make it 10, enter. Check it out, the whole thing scales down proportionately. So it doesn't break on me. What it does is it takes the dimension here and scales everything else so that everything else will scale to that same proportion. And that way I can now come in and continue to dimension the rest of my features here um, you know, without having to fix everything first and, and move lines back into place so that I have you know, the right um, lines here to try to reference from. So I highly recommend that you go into your settings and check that one tick mark to scale um, your whole sketch um, based on your first dimension. It's going to make your life a lot easier. All right, guys, that's the quick tip for today. I'm keeping it short and sweet, but I'll be back in a few days with another video. I'll see you soon.